it's too late for Jason, but it's not too late for there's, there's veterans every day that come in this facility. Today, the family of Jason Simkuski gave thanks that the government finally took their concerns seriously. We're also happy that um, they are listening and they are making changes. Simkuski overdosed while a patient at the Toma VA. In January, whistleblower Ryan Honnell detailed for 12 News problems with overdoping at the Toma VA, including Simkuski's death. It hit me hard, and I guess, you know, him dying in this facility. I was actually working here when he died. I was like two weeks into the job, and just knowing that if the VA wouldn't have swept that under the rug, Jason would be alive today. At the time, Simkuski's family pressed the office of the inspector general to investigate. Today, the feds released the results of that inquiry. The report confirms Jason Simkuski died of mixed drug toxicity. It found doctors failed to inform him of the risks of the drugs he was prescribed, notes staff delays in performing CPR, and the hospital's failure to stock drugs that can reverse an overdose. Yeah, I'm bitter that it happened. I'm bitter that it happened here. For Simkuski's family, the results of this investigation are bittersweet. They won't bring back Jason, but hopefully others won't die the same way. The head of the Toma VA told reporters it accepts responsibility for what investigators called an avoidable death and is already working on making changes called for in the report, Joyce. He also said one of the two doctors involved no longer works there and there are disciplinary proceedings underway with the second. And he also left behind a wife and daughter. Thank you, Colleen.